They look like manufactured ball bearings, but they're found in rock that's billions of years old. What are they? Deep within South Africa's ancient mineral deposits, the Klerksdorp spheres have baffled scientists and enthusiasts alike. These tiny, often perfect spheres, some with strikingly parallel grooves etched around their circumference, have spurred debates that stretch far beyond geology. To some, they appear almost too precise, suggesting the handiwork of a lost civilization, or perhaps even visitors from beyond our world. Proponents of this anomalous theory point to their symmetry and design, questioning how nature could craft something so seemingly intentional. Yet geologists urge a closer look. They assert these spheres are nothing more than natural concretions, minerals slowly accumulating over eons, shaped by the relentless forces of pressure, heat, and chemical reactions. The grooves, they say, are products of layered mineral growth and natural fractures, not evidence of intelligent design. Scientific analysis shows that their composition aligns perfectly with known geological processes forming in sedimentary layers dating back 2.8 billion years. So, who is right? Are the Klerksdorp spheres relics of ancient technology or marvels of nature's artistry? The truth remains elusive, caught between the wonder of possibility and the rigor of scientific explanation. In the end, they remind us how much there is still to discover about our planet's mysterious past.